We all have pores. They are super annoying. And if you are interested, check out what are the things which you have to follow, what are the products recommendation. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Dr. Nancy. I'm dermatologist. I used to make videos on skincare related content. And if you're interested, please subscribe. Water pores. These are tiny openings on our skin. Our hair, Vela's hair, it is connected to sebaceous gland, the gland which is producing oil. Our pores are enlarged when there's increased oil production. Oil productions are more at the time of puberty, adolescence, and during summer. And if you're having high fatty food, high glycemic index food, more of dairy products. Also before menstruating. The second reason is loss of support of the pores, which is supported by the collagen. It can be due to sun damage, normal aging process, smoking, environmental pollution. All this will create free oxygen radicals and damage your collagen and by many more mechanisms. So why we have to know the causes so that we can control our pores. We cannot totally remove them. We can just maintain, change our lifestyle for the betterment of our skin and for our health. They are more prominent over the forehead, nose, this side of the cheeks and over the chin. It is all natural to have pores. Do not look into the mirror that close because you are going to see so many things. I do not suggest looking too close to the mirror. We can only minimize the pores. In the morning, we will wash our face and we have to select a mild normal cleanser. And if you have oily skin, you can use salicylic acid containing face wash and you can wash it for one minute and then rinse it off. I also have dry skin. I have stubborn blackheads and open pores. I am so irritated by it. So in the morning, I use two products, episode of cleanser over the rest of my face and for my nose, while I was rubbing Episoft Cleanser, I would apply salicylic acid face wash over this area and a little bit on this face. I will massage the rest of my face for around one minute and after that, I will go in with this area. I, I don't know whether you can follow like two, three face wash. For me, they are so important because sometimes I also have sensitive skin. I use multiple face wash for different areas of my skin. Oh my God, that is too much, right? Just because we said you have to control the oil, that doesn't mean that you are going to wash your face four or five times. It has a feedback mechanism. When your skin is dry, your body is very smart. It will send a feedback to secrete more oil. It is going to be a vicious cycle. It is not a good way to tackle oily skin. If you are going to wear makeup and if, the, if you are going for any occasions, you can use clay mask over these areas which will absorb the excess oil again. And if you have sensitive skin, after using salicylic acid, you don't have to do this. And what about the serums? Uh, it's the same old niacinamide and vitamin C and retinol. Niacinamide, I have seen improvement in my pores and my face overall health condition of my face. It will improve the texture of your skin, even out your skin tone and improve your skin barrier. And what about vitamin C? I used to apply in the morning. It will help fight against the ultraviolet rays damage to your skin. By fighting with the reactive oxygen species, it can somewhat boost collagen production. But as we all know, vitamin C is unstable. We are not going to completely dependent on vitamin C for our collagen production. Wow. What about moisturizer? Moisturizer, it is best if you use oil-free moisturizer. Like uh, recently, I have purchased plum green tea moisturizer oil free and fragrance free moisturizer and neutrogena oil free moisturizer anyway we are going to use lots of sunscreen so there is no problem if you have extremely extremely oily skin you can just go in with the sunscreen, sunscreen as we all know it prevents us from ultraviolet rays and thus our collagen breakdown so our collagens they are going to maintain our pores a little bit more stronger so it is best if you choose matte sunscreen sunscreen in gel formulation you can use spf of 30 or more and apply regularly when you apply makeup you should remove your makeup properly and completely you can use micellar water cleansing balm cleansing oil etc followed by normal face wash again you are going to use niacinamide and you are going to combine with retinol serum or retinol cream because retinol 
retinoids what they used to do is it will decrease sebum production and maintain your collagen production it is very necessary to repair your skin while you're sleeping we also have nancy love skin glow mask you can use this three times per week and it also tightens your pores because it contains flax seeds natural ingredients i will keep the link of the product in the description down below you can check it out from there these days i have been using lactic acid i feel like it also pretty much improved the skin texture i suggest using lactic acid two to three times per week and if you cannot tolerate glycolic acid lactic acid is the acid exfoliation of choice for you you should not combine with retinol or niacinamide or lactic acid it is best if you just use lactic acid and then apply moisturizer are there any procedures to improve the appearance of pores of course yes these are derma rolling micro needling any laser chemical peel there are so many other procedures which can improve the appearance of pores i have been using all these ingredients for such a long time you are not going to see an immediate result for teenagers, you can use salicylic acid face wash, niacinamide, followed by sunscreen. Remember, never apply any medicated cream on your own without a dermatologist's prescription. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. We will see each other in my next video.